Wat zijn strijders van mijn daal, Jasper? Ik ben welkom bij een nieuwe aflevering van Raincoat Plus. Ik ga naar Raincoat Plus. De vorige aflevering hebben wij ja, onze gast ontmoet. Tenminste, wat ik aan kan nemen is de hele gast. En nu gaan we verder. Dan gaan we met Zilch. It's your turn, Yuma. Ja. Aside from having amnesia, is there anything else we should know about? My cops were slept. I still can't remember anything. If you really are a master detective, then you should have some sort of forte. I have no idea. Oh, young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes you usually wear, or brands you like? You only inquired about clothing. Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. Yeah, I know that I've talked about Yoshi too. Hold on. Apex, stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. The perplexing circumstance we face may have something to do with his memories. That's right. I was wondering about that. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Did something happen? Well, something unexpected has occurred on our trip. The number of people is off. Okay. The number of people? I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was precisely five. Hmm. Five? One, okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Ja, maar als je iemand bij het boot valt, dan is het uh, de guy zonder dezelfde kleding. Ik heb ook de WDO dat vijf master detectives will gather on board. Oké. Okay. Hence why when you called yourself a master detective, I was honestly surprised. I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. <laughs> this is getting exciting. Hij dus. It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. It's not me. I think. How about we contact the WDO and find out? It could be a mistake. It's no use. I can't reach them. There's no signal here. Well, high tech guy is always older. Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? Ja, misschien zijn zij wel vijf detectives en ben ik de persoon die geen detective. Especially with my amnesia in this situation. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? I am the sixth one here. Hmm. Alright, I got it. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. You may speak. I'll allow it. <laughs> Why would I need your permission? Ik vind het ook wel een grappig als je zegt, I'll allow it. Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Huh? It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. The run must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. Hmm. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack you? To pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. The plan was going smoothly. The runt suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed. And the results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The runt's gotta be tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. Then I thought you'd be the most useless one here. Why? Well, thank you. In other words, I was knocked out at the station because someone attacked me? But I don't think I've been injured. Excuse me. My deduction is slightly different. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. Stop acting like we need to get your permission. I suspect that the entire situation is a test. Designed by the World Detective Organization. A mm, test? Okay. 
A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a shot on combat of the shot and try. Ascertaining our skills here. Ik zal ook een beetje van de is we zijn hier met z'n vijf en vijf tech hier zijn één guy in de exam officer. Me? An exam officer? Nee, nee. Bring it on. I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got. What are you trying to do? For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. And how are you going to do that? Like this. Let's go. That's echt een radar. Hij doet het gewoon een scan, gewoon een scanner. Hij is aan het hacken. Wat? Wat was dat? Een weird feeling overkeem mijn hele body. No signs of the enemy. Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Okay. Um, what did you do? I used my forte, life detection. I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. The mechanism is a trade secret, but I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. Talk all you want, but who can verify that you're not lying? We're never gonna get anywhere if you start doubting everything. Use your own damn powers to figure it out then. I see. So Fortes come in handy at a time like this. In that case, there's someone else with the power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. The audio, well. Yeah, yeah. Pucci, check out Stefan. Um, Pucci, would it be possible for you to verify what Apex said is true? Yes, I, Pucci, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeats. Shall I try? Yeah. Yes, please. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiots! Show. Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? I need to concentrate. She has this well each mirror in her. Dan alleen het stille meisje wat ze is. Holy shit. Oh, that's supposed to be dope. Until now, the characters are not too bad. One of the most important things from the game is the quality of the characters. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Does no one else hear it? What's going on? I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. Volgens mij is mijn power dat ik andere mensen hun power kan overnemen. They still cannot stop their heart from beating. In other words, there is no one else on this train. I, Pucci, guarantee it. Okay. See, I told you so. Sorry for calling you gloomy earlier, little girl. You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but. Aren't our powers kind of the same? I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. <laughs> so you're the useless one. Quiet, you catty bitch! <laughs> mm. 
Moving on. We've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. One of them an imposter? But Aphex and Poochie both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. But I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. Why am I the only one? Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! What's wrong with you, old man? You gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train. The wheels of fate chugging along. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. Okay. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? Probably needs for that pain. How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. So, you're fine being considered a suspect then? You are free to think what you wish. I'll allow it. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. That's true. There's no end to this! To hell with it! Everybody Everybody from up, from I'll sugar? deck you one by one! Whoever passes out is safe, got it? The real deal! Don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter! Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Okay. We could have hmm. the the motive. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. Thank you, fucking boy. I'll allow it. We need your permission. The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows, but I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear, and at last, they revealed themselves. Hold what the hell? Did you just say that you... Hmm? Something the matter? <clears throat> never mind. Continue. I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. 
weet waarom niet. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. The spy has only one goal: to disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Hmm. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Are you kidding me? You gotta explain that too? Yeah, but I'm not completely bekend in this universe. Teach Yuma as we share information with one another. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. Okay. You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, their smoke is a whole building burning down. That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? Sure, I got it. Thanks. Okay. Photo Hikachi. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated, but Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu autonomous zone. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. Okay. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp. The city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, master detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. Right. I see. Thank you very much. Okay. Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai War. Normally it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. Okay. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big moving coffin. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be open. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Okay. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. Okay. If you feel up to it. Why don't you take a look around? But you can't access the fifth car. 
the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. The diamond is also quite big. Oh, I'm missing one of these cards. What is it today? Has anything you heard sound familiar? No. It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? Ik heb zo maar het vermoeden dat dat geestje ons uh, ook wat gaat vertellen. Um, did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although we only seem to have coffee here. Lijkt me schakel om en dat even kijken. Even iets te gaan drinken. Do you drink it black, or do you need some milk? Front probably wants milk. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. <sighs> Thank you. What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I have amnesia, and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? Yeah, I'll move on. I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Hmm. Naar mijn mening is het of Zulch of Sange. Zange doesn't want to talk about himself. Is he staying quiet to avoid drawing attention? Could he be the imposter? Yeah, thanks for following. I don't know anything about his powers, so he is suspicious. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. Remembering now won't do any good. Okay. There it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt! Uh-huh. Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. What? Zange? Okay. Maar dat gaan we wel doen in de volgende aflevering. Merci bedankt voor het kijken. Like, abonneer, reageer en deel met je vrienden. En hoop jullie de volgende keer terug te zien bij een nieuwe aflevering van Raincoat Plus. See ya!